Here we go again, my dear children. A very good day to you all. I am here with Rational Numbers Part 2. Before we begin, I have to ask you one very important question. Have you done your homework? If you, if you find any kind of problem, please WhatsApp me on this number and I will get back to you. We also have a website address on the screen www.diksha.gov.in This is a very important website which has been launched by CBSC for little students like you who can um, you know go to this website and see a lot of videos and presentations on all subjects. So after my class please go and visit. Let's begin now. Question number 114 and 118. The cost of 19 by 4 meter of wire is rupees 171 by 2. Find the cost of 1 meter of the wire. Because the total cost is given and the total wire length is given, we will use division. So we will divide the total cost by the total length. 171 divided by 2 divided by 19 by 4. Wherein, because we change the sign, so 19 by 4 becomes 4 by 19. We cancel and the answer is rupees 18. Next question, 118. A 1171 by 3 meter long rope is cut into equal pieces measuring 71 by 3 meters each. How many such small pieces are there? Using division again, we will find the total number of pieces by total length divided by the length of one piece. So 1171 by 3 divided by 71 by 3 which is equal to 352 by 3 divided by 22 by 3 when we change the sign and make the reciprocal we get 16 pieces as the answer. The next question a very interesting one so I want all your attention here. Two fifth of the total number of students of a school come by car while one-fourth of the students come by bus, all the other students walk to school of which one-third walk on their own and the rest are escorted by their parents. If two twenty-four students come to school walking on their own, how many students study in that school? Let the total number of students be x because we don't know the total number of students so we need to keep it the unknown variable. Number of students which come by car is 2x by 5. Number of students which come by bus is 1 by 4x. Therefore, number of students which walk to school is x minus the addition of these two. That is 2x by 5 plus 1x by 4. When we do that, we find it is 13x by 20. So, x minus 13x by 20 is equal to 7x by 20. Therefore, number who walk to school is equal to 1 by 3rd of 7x by 20 which is equal to 7x by 60. I beg your pardon here it should not be work it should be walk to school. So now 7x by 60 is equal to 224 which has been given there that means children who are walking to school on their own. So 7x by 60 is equal to 224 thus x is equal to 224 into 60 by 7. And therefore, x is 32 into 60, which is 1920 students in the school. You can pause my video anywhere and listen to the question once again. Please be uh, cautious. We, we have to do the sum on our own as well. We go on to the next now. Question 126 and 127. Arrange the numbers 1 by 4, 13 by 16 and 5 by 8 in descending order. Descending order means from big to small. First we have to find the LCM. LCM of all these rational numbers will be 16, 4, 16 and 8. Now we will change these three numbers having the same denominator. Therefore 1 by 4 will become 4 by 16. 5 by 8 will become 10 by 16. And 13 by 16 we already have. Now we will just arrange them. But always remember when we are arranging in descending order or ascending order, we must use the original rational numbers. So the arrangement is going to be 13 by 16 is more than 5 by 8 is more than 1 by 4. 
Question 127, the product of two rational numbers is minus 14 by 27. If one of the numbers be 7 by 9, find the other. Let the number be x, therefore. We don't know the second number, right? But we know the product. So, if we divide the product by the first number, we will get our question answer. So, 7x by 9 is equal to minus 14 by 27. Therefore, x is equal to minus 14 by 27 into 9 by 7. And therefore, when we do the cutting and cross multiplication, we get the answer x is equal to minus 2 by 3. Finally, I have the home assignment for you. You can pause my video here, write down the questions. Just a reminder that 106b and 106c are both using distributive law which you had seen in my previous video. If you have any clarifications, you can get back to me at any point of time. Thank you, children. You've been a very good audience.